Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 10th of 2020. Well, it is titled solar eclipse over the UAE. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken from the United Arab Emirates and looking at the solar eclipse that occurred about a month and a half ago and uh, timed just right so that the rising sun and moon in the background here were able to frame the uh, person holding the camel right there in front of it. So be able to get a very nicely framed photograph of this eclipse. Now an eclipse occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun. That is what we call a solar eclipse. And when that happens, people on the Earth, if you're in the right location, will be able to see an eclipse. Now the eclipses come in different varieties. There are partial eclipses where just part of the sun is blocked out by the moon. So right now this is a partial eclipse. However, had you waited a little bit longer, and as the sun rose even further, the moon would have continued to move and would have passed directly in front of the sun and would have caused in this case an annular eclipse or a ring eclipse. And what that means is that the moon would be uh, directly in front of the sun, but the moon would not quite be big enough to block out the entirety of the sun's disk. And so we would still have a ring of sunlight around the edge of the moon, giving this type of eclipse its name as an annular eclipse for annulus or ring. So in that case, it would not have fully blocked out the light of the sun, we'd still have some sunlight around it. The other type of eclipse that we can get is a total solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon does completely block out the sunlight. Now why would we sometimes get an annular eclipse and sometimes get a total solar eclipse? Well the difference would be depending on the distances of the Earth and Moon and the Earth and Sun. When you are closer to an object, it will look a little bit bigger. And when you're further away from it, it will look a little bit smaller. The moon orbits the Earth in an elliptical orbit. Sometimes it is closer and sometimes it is further away. When it's closer and we get the full moon, we sometimes call that the super moon, when the moon is a little bit larger and brighter in the sky than it otherwise would be. That time, the moon would be much more likely to block out the entirety of the sun when it is at its largest. However, when it's at its furthest, it's not quite big enough to block out the sun. Now the Earth also has an elliptical orbit around the sun, so the sun will appear slightly bigger or slightly smaller at different times of year as well. And those two combined can give us either a very long eclipse if the moon is at its largest and the sun at its smallest, that it can block it out for a longer period of time, maybe for 10 minutes or so. And there can be other e times when the moon is at its smallest and the sun is at its largest, where the moon will not be able to block out the sun completely at all and we will get an annular eclipse. And that is what we had in this last eclipse a month and a half ago or so. And in this case, we were able to get a very nice uh, picture as that eclipsed sun was rising up over the horizon and being able to time that perfectly to get the camel right in the correct position right between the limbs of the eclipsed sun. So that was our picture of the day for February the 10th of 2020. It was titled Solar Eclipse over the UAE. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sky Divide. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.